Okay, we're live! Hello, 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 hello. Cardinals, pontiffs, officialdoms, please enter the studio now. I've just put the link in the comments there, but on, only come if you are wanted. Only come if you wanted. Fellow riser, I got your request. Working on printing out the advertisement for the fridge. Yes, sirree. Let's get some invites out now. Okay. What's going on, guys? Let's have a look. The official cardinal. Um, okay. Let's have a look here. Uh, let's have a look. Who am I going to invite today? We'll get these guys on. I'll tell you who's a good guy. It's my friend Sovron. He's a lot of fun. He's cool. Clivers. Dr. BBW. ABC. I did a video today for Lewis, trying to spruik Lewis a bit today. He's cool, very cool. I love that Lewis guy. A lot of talent, a lot of talent, a lot of hustle bustle ready to go. What can I say? What can I do? This is the Archie Luxury live streaming channel. We're on the Archie Luxury corporate because we love corporates, don't we? Let's get those super chats happening, guys. And where is our Sovran? The Sovran. The Sovran. The Sovran. Sovran. Where is our Sovran? Let's get him on the channel. Um, let's have a look. I'll get I'll get that out now. So what can I say, guys? I've been going pretty good. Well, no, not really. I had a few Yankee Doodle, Yankee Doodle. Hello, Yankee Doodle. Got a lot of guys there in the audience. Come on, guys, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I was doing a bit of tidying up. I'm trying to get rid of garbage in my studio that's right guys i'm trying to clean i'm trying to clean um things are going okay okay they're okay they're not brilliant they're not terrible they're just okay and um what can i say there guys this is how it goes This is how it goes. We're floundering. We're sinking fast. Come on, guys. Help us out. I'm really sinking, guys. Oops. Shit. Look, guys. I'm sinking. I need you. I need some help here, guys. Sinking. This is coming to you from the Susu Studio. Not one. How about Mr. C? You always come in, Mr. C. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, let's talk watches. What can we talk then? Let's talk. There's no money in. What's happening in the watch world? That's a very good thing. Hey, blue shirt, Yankee Doodle, two dollars. 
This is for the premium cashew fund. Thank you. What else is due? Come on, guys, talk to me. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Let's go and have a look what's happening. Let's go shopping at David SW. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and see what is good stuff that's out there. Stan the man! It's the man. Okay. Stan the man. Stan the man. Five bucks. Five bucks. You need a drink with those nuts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's not a bad idea, actually. The show's stink starting to stink. How many minutes in before we can announce it as a stinker? Lizard lick. Thank you so much. So let's have a look there. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. And if we go to David SW, let's have a look at what exciting stuff he's got. Rolex! What's he got in the Rolex area there? Let's have a look. What's exciting? What can we sniff out? Mmm, a Cellini. 13,000. That's a nice looking thing. That's very nice. 13,000. A Shalini. Oh, it's a jewel time. Wow. Uh, how many mils is it? Let's have a look. What do I reckon? I don't mind the look of that. That's actually quite an attractive watch. Oh! Day Day. Look at that. 36 Day Day. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 36 Day Day. 36 mil Day Day. Lovely looking watch. It's a very lovely looking watch. Mmm, look at that. Very lovely watch indeed. A day date. Day date Rolex. Absolutely beautiful. $33,000. $33,000. And here we go. Pound the drums. Hello, I'm desperate. Who's this? Hey, what's going on, man? Who's this? Uh, name's Evan. Ah, how did you get the link? Oh, yeah, I put it what? in there. That's right. <laughs> Your ship yeah. is sinking. Yeah, ships are sinking. So, Evan, what do you collect? What do you got? Uh, not much. Uh, just started really getting into it uh, when COVID hit. Yes. Um, so I don't know much, but I uh, got a Explorer 2 1991. Mmm. L serial number? L serial number? N. N is the number. The N, N. N. So tell me this. I'm driving, so I don't even know how good my, uh, I don't know how good this connection is. That's okay. It's good enough, okay? We're sinking fast. So talk to me. Um, how old are you? 49. Wife, kids, job? Yeah, the whole thing. What made you get the Explorer 2? Uh, 
was a watchmaker that had, I think I got a, an all right deal. How much? Uh, uh, five plus four Omega F three hundred, and the two of them didn't work. So, altogether, money spent about six even. That's it. I guess that that seems reasonable. Yeah, that's not bad. And and what? How does your wife feel about the watch collecting hobby? She doesn't like, you know, talking about it. You know, the, the, the usual. She doesn't care. Why is that? Why don't they like watches? I don't know. I don't know. What do they want us to they, do? They Go like, to titty bars? Uh, yeah, maybe. You know, they like shoes or whatever, you know. They like to shop. I think, I think women like to shop. It's not even necessarily... It's kind of like the hunt for the watch. Once you get it, you know, it's like, okay... It's trying to find it. But I gotta say, that's quite a lot of money for a, a middle-aged guy. When let's face it, we're 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 out, we're into it. You're approaching forty. Oh yeah, now, I've never bought anything like that before. So it was kind of kind of nuts. Um, Did you seek so, your permission? Well, you know, I told her I was buying the watch, so that's about as far as it goes. And did she say how you're paying for it? <laughs> I told her good luck, and, good looks and charm. No, you know she, you know we we kind of we got our own things going on, and uh, you know I, I I pay bills, I don't pay late. Yeah. And uh, you know. That's fantastic, and. Uh, are you on the hunt for the next watch? Hello? Hey. Can you Hello? hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, can you? Uh, okay. So, my back story is this. Uh, uh, from Michigan. Moved to, to uh, California. California when I was 18, I played music. Yep. Are you there still? Yeah, yeah, I can hear ya. Are you there? Yep. I can hear you. You played music in Michigan? Was it a Christian rock band? Hello? Jesus Christ. Hello, pound the drums. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So was it a Christian rock band? Christian rock band, that would be, yeah, Striper. It's fucking Striper. <laughs> you know this band, Striper? No. Are they famous? They were in the 80s. They were a horrible, big hair... Yes. Yeah, we're we're sinking, we're sinking fast. Hey guys, we're sinking fast. Here we go, Paul. Two euro thirty. I G I W C Portuguese Chrono or Breitling Nabby Timer. You know what? I think I'd go I W C. That is a really gorgeous. I love the numerals on it. It's a really nice wristwatch. It's really it's a nice thing to have. The Breitling. Look, there's nothing wrong with the Breitling. It is a Get the B01. I just think the IWC Portuguese is just a little bit. A 
a little bit nicer, that's all. I just think it's a little bit nicer. It's, um, here we go, Pound the Drums is back on there. Hello, Pound the Drums. Doing a bit of pounding tonight. Um, yeah, that doesn't seem to be working very well there. Sink, sinking fast. This is what happens. Being deserted. Sinking fast. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes you need to have crap shows so that when people see your 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 your. I don't think that one's very good. You got to have some garbage so that when you have an average show, it feels better. <laughs> you know? Jeb! Five dollars! Thank you, Jeb. Thank you, Jeb. I do appreciate it. Urban Underry, two pounds. Cheer up, big boy, from Sri Lanka. Thank you. Yeah. What can I say, guys? It's sinking fast. Yankee. Yankee Doodle. Two bucks. Time to prepare the resume, big boy. Thank you. Thank you, Yankee Doodle. Hello. What can I say? Ride share Ryan, two dollars. Did Ray who pay retail for the bond Omega? Not sure. I'm not sure about that one. Good question, but did he? Did he or not? Stan the man! Ten dollars. Come on, Cardinals and Pointers. Stop being babies. Come on the show and start the chats, boys. I don't think they're coming back, to be honest with you. I'm very sorry, okay? But, you know, this is this was always... Um, this was always the way it was going to end, okay? I am sorry, this is just it. This is it. Sorry, guys. Um, what can I say? What can I say? Fellow Riser, $2. Arch, read my other super chat. The show must go on. Fellow Riser, Riser, where's Fellow Riser? I'm trying to find the other super chat. It's okay, guys. It's bad. <laughs> How bad? This is probably a two. <laughs> Hey, pound the drums. Hello? Do we get Loudmouth Tim on? I've got him in reserve. Okay? I got Loudmouth Tim as reserve for immediate for very... Have we hit the iceberg, sir? It's real bad. It's real bad. Anyhow. I think we're sinking, guys. Help me. Help. I'm sinking.
I don't know what to do. Pound the drums! How are you? You're home now. Yeah, I was trying to drive. Hey, it's okay, man. Talk to me about this watch collecting. What made you... When did you first love watches? Let's interview you. Oh, yeah. beautiful. On yeah, a NATO. Yeah, How did you get into watches? Why watches? Tell me this. Oh, it's your box. What? Well... What's... You got a Rolex date there as well? No, it's uh, Air King. But I, I found somebody I can trade it. We'll see if he's uh, telling me the truth or not. Was that your first Rolex or what happened to that? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that, Why don't that you was... keep it? Keep it, keep it. Sentimental. Who gave it to you? Well, there's a, the, a an AD that says he'll take it off my hands. For how for, much? For, for brand new. For uh, 32 so if I can get that, and uh, he says uh, he can get a Explorer One at a discount, but I don't. I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. So, so, so that's. When did you? Who got that watch? How long have you had that one there? Not long. Uh, March. This one I just got, and then that one was March, and then that's it, for now at least. They're they're not cheap. They're very expensive. Yeah. So how do you pay for this? Can I ask you that? Well, you can get uh, money's free. You know, zero percent. Okay. Yeah, and you just pay it off. Why not take the money if it's free? How long? What term? Well, that one was uh, six months. So. Okay. So tell me this, this hobby watches, do your other friends know you like watches or not? Yeah. Uh, what do they I'm say to you when you... Uh, I'm on an island, you know, they they don't get it. I think it's kind of nuts. I have a cat, you know, see the cat? Ooh. You live with your wife and children as well in this house? I do, yeah, they're downstairs, so... You know, I don't know how long I can be on the uh, chat no, here. No, that's but... okay. That's okay. But anything is better than nothing. We were sinking fast, man. <laughs> now, it's pretty funny. But no, we've uh, we've enjoyed uh, watching. You know, we get a kick out of you. Garbage. You know, my my kids like to say it with the uh, Australian accent. We think that's funny. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's garbage. You know, that's. that's I pretty just good. had a. I just had a uh, a fight with a friend of mine who's got a beautiful collection. He bought yeah. some Tudors. He's got Langays, he's got Paddocks, he's got Rolexes. And then he went and bought a few Tudors. And I said, why would you do that? He goes, oh, it's yeah. my money. I can do what I like. And I said, but it's garbage. Yeah, that that that, uh, that Omega I have is, uh, uh, mm. it's my birth year, 1971. Wow, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, you know, it's just one of the Genevs, the, the generic ones. They make um, you happy. What, what industry are you in? Uh, medical. Cool, cool, so, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, I, so I draw tell... blood all day and stuff. So, um, but music, I play. So I was telling you, yeah, I moved to LA. I play drums. I was in like some punk rock bands and those kind of things. Yeah. And I was there, yeah, there for, do. I was there for fourteen years, and then back to Detroit. Then now I'm here in uh, North Carolina. So in the United States. North Carolina. States. That's a nice part of the America. Yeah. Yeah, clean, houses are reasonably you know. priced there. They're not ridiculous, aren't they? No, no. You can't live I, in in California, as you would say. It's you know, it's not for for poor people. You can't buy a house in California. It's just no. It's like it's, a two million dollars, isn't it? Well, you know, if you want a shack, it's two million dollars. It's it's outrageous. Yeah. How much is a house in North Carolina? Not a reasonable house. You know, like three, four hundred thousand, you can get a reasonable house. Reasonable house. You know? Yeah, that, that that that's very cool. Yeah, not bad. So. So so um, tell me this: um, Are you buying another watch? Well, what's the go? What's the plan? Do you have a, a, if a structure? I, if this if this if he's this guy's legit, he says he's an AD and he's got connections, um, and yeah. he could get an Explorer One. I'd love to get one of those mm -hmm. at a di at a discount, so retail at a discount, and mm -hmm. then he says he'll give me money for that. Air King, so I'll fund part of it with that Air King. It's just too small. You know, I didn't know what I was doing. I bought that thing 
It just seemed cheap at the time, so I bought it. It was uh, thirty-two hundred. You wouldn't 3, give it to the wife to weigh. She doesn't care. I tried. She wrote, wore that Omega one day, and then that was it. It looked really cool, you know, because those are real small. I won't get you rid know, of that though. I I I let women wear watches, and they just they don't look after them. They don't appreciate them. That means nothing to them, you know. Nah, nah. Have you tried David S W? Why don't you send an email to David S W and say, "Well, he's hey, not going to—he's not going to be cheaper than retail, though." I just, 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 just put your toe in the water. What would you give me for a swap for this? Boom, quick oh, yeah. answer. Okay. Yeah. Well, why okay. not? Just to, to sure. You, you, it doesn't hurt to. Um, so tell me this: the watch collecting. Do you have any other hobbies besides watch collecting? Guns, strip clubs, any other hobbies? Uh punk rock yeah music I, I love playing music uh play guitar and uh yeah drums drums are my first thing i'm a wannabe guitar player um yeah so my fingers don't quite work the way I, i'd like them to yes uh so drums are my thing play drums and uh um that's really it 19 years clean and sober so i don't drink or party or anything i drink coffee Yes. Because it's for because it's for closers, you know. Mm. <laughs> Thirty nine uh, years old. Forty nine. Forty nine. I'm an old timer, like you. You know, oh, same 49. age. Oh, forty nine. Sorry, yeah. A year 49, off. Yeah. A year off. Yeah, yeah off. you know. So I, I'm getting into this pretty pretty late, you know. Uh, Oh, okay. uh, in the eighty in the eighties, I had Swatch watches and I had all the different bands and stuff. So that's why I like these NATO things. I I think they're cool. I got a a little collection of NATO bands to go on the on the uh, Explorer 2. I think that's kind so, of fun, you know? Oh, I, I totally agree with you. Uh, would you ever go Paddock? What, what's your view on Paddock? How do you view Paddock, Philippe? They're not for poor people. I'm just a poor man from a poor family. With so the moosh, is, with the moosh, this, Kenny uh, Fandango, yeah, yeah, Kenny right. Fandango. So for now, I'm just going to do this. If I can do that trade for the Explorer 1, then I'm going to just sit back and, you know, look at things. But I do, I mean, I appreciate the paddocks. Uh, but, you know, Jesus. Is it wearing them, expensive. owning them, hoarding them? What is it I that don't makes you... Yeah. I don't know. Are you into it the is, forums? Do you go on the forums, the watch forums, have a look around? No. No. I, I, I think your stuff's pretty, pretty funny and honest, you know, and I think... Uh, you know, Blue Shirt had a good idea going back to the beginning. And you, you know, you, you definitely have changed since COVID, I'll have to say. For the good or for the worse? Well, you know, you're... Be honest, uh, be honest. It's total honesty here. Uh, probably for the worse because, you know, you were much more animated and uh, the swearing and all that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, and that, of course. And now it's, yeah. uh, it's you know... It's all PC. Hey, man, we're all friends. Let's have a group hug, group hug, group hug. But I think COVID might be fucking people's heads up, you know. Uh, I, makes... I, I, I'm 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 insane at the moment. I'm I'm not. Because you can't you can't you're told not to do anything. You can't have you know don't have a holiday. Don't have friends over. You know it's kind of mm. weird. I never really had friends, but I I get the drift. I get the drift. <laughs> They're overrated. You know what? Uh, you know yeah. what Tony Soprano. You know what Tony Soprano said. What's that? I love fuck Tony your, Soprano. He he said fuck your friends. I'll always let you down. That's what he told his son. Fuck your friends, they'll always let you down. <laughs> Do you remember that episode? His son, I his love son go, he kept going to the club and they kept taking his money. So he had all the money because his, his dad was a mobster. And so they got him all fucked up one night and painted on his face. So that's what, that was his advice oh. to his son. I would never say that to my son, but I think it's funny. Yeah, no, no. Tony Soprano, um, he, he wore a day-date. Does the day-date appeal to you? Does that kind of watch? Nah. Nah. No. As dressed, the, the, the most dressed up I'll get is maybe a you know, button-down shirt. Yeah. The steel, the steel sports thing makes sense, and I like the Rolex. Uh, your advice is to uh, get something you can get out of. That makes sense. The... Yeah. Um, Tell me this: you you you've got the uh, the first one, the thirty four, the Air King, right? That's thirty four mils, right? Yeah. Yep. When you first put it on, did you think, oh, this is great, it's fantastic? You think, oh shit, this is a bit small. How how did you? Both, because it it's beautiful. It's got the white gold. It's all polished, but it's very small. And uh, what I year is that from? Seven and a quarter, uh, nineteen ninety nine. 
Oh, okay. So it's a sapphire air yeah. king, fairly modern yeah. one. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's in very it's in very good shape. Um, That's but, not a uh, terrible watch. Could you give? Have you got nah. a son? You got a son? You could. Yeah, if I if I don't get rid of it, then that's where it'll go. I got two key, two yeah. boys, so yeah, they're getting all my watches. So I figure yeah. I'll, I'll leave them something that isn't garbage. I've got some other beaters, you know. I've got some some G shocks. I like those. They're um, they're good to mow the lawn in, as they say. Was there any other hobbies you had? Like Clive used to collect. Uh, he used to collect razor I blades, a, razors, I you know, a, razors, vintage razors. Nah, uh, I. Uh, wrote a book short story yes it's not very good because i'm not uh, that much of a writer but i put it on amazon what's um, it called micro brain it'll be free over thanksgiving I, every as soon as, as soon as i can i put it up for free every for what's five it about? days what's it about tell me what's it about not the end of the world it's about uh you remember google glass those glasses that had them yes little yeah, so uh, I said, well, what's the next thing? They'll just put a chip in your brain. So about five years ago, whenever those came out, I had that idea. So I just started writing. And uh, yes. it's about um, basically when you're born, they when they suck the stuff out of your nose, they put a chip it up in your brain. Mm -hmm. And uh, then everyone's connected. You can talk to everybody all the time. And it ends up being the end of the world. That's, that's an interesting that's, interesting premise. I must admit, you know, I think we... Because, look, let's face it, me and you, we were, we went through the 80s. I remember a computer. I remember the first computers. My friends had a VIC-20, Commodore 64. I had a 64. Yeah, my mom used to bring home a 64. And that was garbage. You had to program. I mean, it wasn't just a... You didn't just put a software in. It, you had to well, actually do basic Yeah. 10... Print. It came with a little floppy disk or whatever. You know. Oh my God! That and and you know computers in those days were absolute useless, weren't they? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you wanted to run a word processor, you, it was hard. Everything was a yeah. struggle, right? Yes. What do you think of uh, the Zenith, the El Prim Primeros? I think they're beautiful. I love them. I think they're beautiful. The problem is many Zeniths are freaking ugly. They've got some really ugly ones, but. I actually like the retro ones, you know, like they reissue. Yeah, the, the one you had was nice. Actually, that watch that was the open heart. That was the that was the Zenith El Primero Chrono Master, nineteen sixty nine open heart. Yeah, I um, actually really loved it. Um, yeah, they're not a, they're not too bad. I mean, uh, they're way under retail when you buy them used. So, yeah, forty five hundred yeah. bucks or so, right? Around in there, four thousand. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they they they're they're, uh, they're an incredible watch. High beat, which means they they tick faster than 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 a Rolex does. Yeah, you know, Rolex um, is normally twenty eight. Twenty eight eight is is kind of the standard. And but if you yeah, six, if you had your choice though, you would go with the the man on the moon. Is that right? Look, I got to be honest with you. Um, look, I've done so much collecting. I got to be honest with you. I want to try and reduce a few debts. I got a few little bit of financial pressure. I'm thinking, you know, this COVID. I'm actually worried. I got to be totally honest with you. I'm freaking worried because I don't know what the truth is. But all this COVID, I think so many businesses are going to collapse. Yeah, and that's the that's that's the that's the uh, the, the conspiracy theory would be. They'll just collapse the economy, go into another shutdown, and, and just really just destroy it, and put everyone yeah. on welfare. And you got to beg with the state. So, yeah. We'll so, I got to be honest with you. Um, I don't know what's going to. To be honest with you, I have no idea. I I really don't. I'm not really sure. Okay. I made some apps for phones. I did that once with Android. That was another hobby. But uh, yeah. really, just been getting into the watches since COVID. It's been kind of fun. Um, there's so much yeah. to learn, though, and I, I don't know much. You know, I, I, I've been learning and, and, and trying to figure it out. Uh, uh, the only thing I really know at this point is Rolex keeps going up in price. It doesn't go down. It's, 
it's absolutely it's, crazy it's what's crazy. happened yeah. there. You know, I, I got to be honest with you. I sold everything and bought paddocks. You know that, don't you? They'll go up. They'll be fine. And, and you like and you like them, and they're beautiful. So there you go. They they are they are. But I, I got to tell you, it's it's really affected me because I do miss I do miss having a. Um, just break even with one. Get rid of it and get your steel uh, sports. Like everyone's told you, just do it. Cares. The economy is a bit flat at the moment. You, you know what yeah. I mean? Everything is, things are fairly troublesome at the moment. You, you, you know, it's it's just, it's it, these are tricky, tricky, tricky times. It's, um, you know, there's, there's a picture of my collection, collection there, collection yeah. there. They're, um, they're, they're amazing. I gotta be on, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're right. Look, I gotta it's be not, honest it, with you. It's not my thing, uh, again, the dress watch. Maybe I would have one, but uh, I just, you know. Yeah, I kind of, you know, like, like I, I never thought I'd have more than two or three. But the front row, yellow gold, I got a world time, I got an annual calendar, I got a classic Calatrava at the back, two more. You know, I think, wow. You know, the thing is, you get very greedy. You, you know this Evan you get greedy like I'm thinking oh I'd love to have a chronograph oh I'd love to have a perpetual calendar you're never happy you know what I mean in life yeah. with these things you buy like you you have you have these wonderful things this hobby you can get very greedy and say oh I want more want more want more. Yeah. hey slow down enjoy what you've got I've actually got six there's a double up of yeah. one at the back I bought as a as a speculative purchase which well, I'm in Brisbane, okay? That, let me put that into, into perspective. That's like, Brisbane is like Missouri in America. Okay? Nice. Uh, it's, 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 you, know, you know what I'm saying? They're not really paddock people, okay? I know what you're saying. Okay? I, I, I've driven I'm not through, trying to put them down uh, I, because I love I, Brisbane, you know? I've driven, through, I've driven through Joplin many a time. Yeah, Look so it's kind of, you've got to find Jop the right... Joplin, look, Missouri is a shithole, so there you go. Look, no look, offense to Joplin, but you know. No, no, look, I, it's, I, it's... I, I grew up in a small town in Michigan that was, uh, you know, a shithole, and, it, you know, just whatever. What happened to Flint? Can I ask you that? What happened to Flint? Uh, Roger Smith, right? Roger and me. Just watched the movie. I'm not a big uh, big fan of um, the guy that made the movie. I can't think of his name. Michael. But, um, Michael Moore, Michael. right. But that yeah. you've seen that movie, right? Yeah, you know, Roger Smith. So it's all about uh, making those guys fat and money. And uh, so they shipped all the uh, the jobs out. One factory is 20,000 jobs, you know. And then they said, go go to Taco Bell, and uh, that's your new job. So you go from, you get in, in, in Michigan, you get out of high school. If you could get a job at Ford or GM, you know, then by the time you we're done maybe you're making a hundred thousand you can put your kids through school and you didn't have to have a college education but that's all gone it doesn't exist anymore so yes <clears throat> and to be honest with you you know Ford and GM the quality of product is absolute garbage now I don't know what compared to I own, I own a Honda and it, won't, and it won't break you know 2003 oh. CRV and I got a fucking Rolex on huh <laughs> hey I'm the same I got a Honda Civic I got a hundred yeah. and twenty thousand miles on it. Yeah. She'll be you, fine well, for another hundred and twenty. Maybe I'll uh, I'll ship my uh, car over there. We can race for pink slips. Yes, the C. I like the CRV. That's a nice car. That hundred hundred and seventy thousand. It, it's really fast and zippy if nobody's in it. But if I have put like you know three people in there, then it is really slow. It's a four cylinder. Yeah, yeah. I got not, a. I, not, I only buy four cylinders. What are you talking not about? Much, not much to it, but it works. It won't break. You know, you can, you can't break it. It's a Honda. You, you're a hundred percent right. But I'd rather put money into watches than into fancy wancy cars, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. What are you going to buy yeah. for yourself? You know, you know, like you bought. If you say you bought a Corvette, that's going to be trouble, aren't they? Yeah. What did uh, what's the one uh, producer Michael, the, the extravagant oh. guy, he says uh. He likes the watches because you can take them everywhere with you. I think it was him. One of those guys said it, you know. I like that that idea that, you know, your car, you can't take it in the store with you. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. he's very flamboyant, you know. He's a very... I, I, I used to like his show, but he, he's gone... He's gone absolutely um, 
crazy, you know, he's a bit... Um, I, I gotta tell you, I, I sold everything. I sold everything to get these paddocks. And, um... I, I'm actually, I, I would really like to have one Rolex back again, you know that? I really, it's not that I'm, I, I'm sort of hate these watches, but it's get it, like get starting a, again. Why don't you get a, a, an Explorer? You keep talking about it. Just yeah, get, get, rid yeah. of, get rid of one of these, one of these. Well, the problem is we've got no travel. These things, they get stolen very easy. I, I look, look, once they open up stuff again, I will get... I'd like to get a, actually I'd like to try a 42 mil, you know, the new Explorer 2. I'd like to, I'd probably get the black one because it's the one people don't like. I like to buy the opposite to what people want to do, you know. Um, do, you, do, you th do you think they'll do anything next year? There's been a lot of talk, you know. Look, Rolex is the most conservative. I'm sick of it. Andrew, 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 Andrew. He's a, <clears throat> Andrew, two bucks. Daytona double one six five two zero black dial the best watch ever. I got to be honest with you, he just bought a pre ceramic black dial. Best watch ever. Look, it's the most. I'd probably say robust. <coughs> it's the most. It's a very collectible watch. Incredibly collectible. It's it's incredibly what the the Daytona is so wanted. Did you ever want a Daytona, Evan? Well, you know, it's a little, uh, a little expensive, but sure, of course, yeah, want yeah. one, yeah. I, I don't foresee myself buying one, but I guess anything's possible. Yeah, anything's possible. You're on the Archie Luxury Channel. Who would have thought that a week ago? Yeah, you'd that's be right. here. You'd you be know, my the main son, my, guest. Yeah, exactly. My son asked me. He says. Why don't you go on? I'm like, nah, I'm not going to go on. And then I'm driving home and... Uh, it, it was sinking sink. fast, man. It was sinking. <laughs> I was eating nuts. Man, man, was it uh, bad. You know what I, I mean? I, it was really, I I really bad. Yeah, I thought I'd come on and save you. Pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, because it's... What do we have? You know, what do we have? Four, gotta, 42 minutes, so we've uh, got, got a few left, right? Get to that hour. Uh, what do you, normally what do you half need? hour, but... Hey, Harry asks two dollars. Sell a we're soul talking. for paddocks, but every man needs a Rolex. Ooh. I gotta tell you seriously. I you um, it, it, look. I'll put that forty, that uh, that uh, that thirty-four on, so you can see it on the wrist because it's 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 very deceptive because it's so big with that engine turned bezel. Remember, I think I, I asked you uh, about trading yeah. it in for a, a Speedy, and you're like, nah, it's a bad idea. But I think if I trade it for another Rolex, that seems reasonable, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, even the Speedy probably isn't... You know, the problem is, because it's, it's a late eight, 90s one, it's a sapphire, yeah. it's a no-holes case, it's actually a very nice watch. It is. It's, it could be a dress watch, for sure. It could be a dress watch. And, no and I, I think... See, it's, My it's, dad, it's, it's funny yeah. when you put it on, like it doesn't... It doesn't look. seem small. I think this is psychological. We think it's small. You, you understand? Yeah. Where's we my think it's wrist? small. Where's that coming in? Yeah, you see? Yeah, 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 I can see the engine. Actually, that's a steel bezel. That's a, That's not a gold bezel. No, no, it's, it's all steel. That would be a steel no, engine turn no, bezel. It's a nice bezel. It's an, I no, like no, it. I like it. Yeah, when I say white gold, the the hands and the uh, the, the oh okay the, the indices. So they're you know they're it's a really nice yep. you know in the sun and all that. It's a Rolex, so you know. Let's have a look at that on your wrist. Let's have a look. Let's see where am I at? Do you have to get rid of it? No. Isn't it? I don't, ha I don't have to do anything. Just between you and me, man. I just I tell you honestly, I'm not that trying to blow smoke up your ass because I'm desperate, but yeah, that is actually. Just it looks it looks bloody nice. Oyster yeah, bracelet. What color dial? Is that black or dark blue? It's it's, it's black. There aren't many of them out there either. I, for some Man, reason, there's on Corona. There's only there's only or... ever. No, not at all. It's in really you know good what, shape. Like, like somebody never wore it. Look, let's be honest. If you oh, could, has, how much did you pay for it? How much did you pay for it? Thirty-two even. 32. Okay, hang no on one tax. minute there. No Andrew, no $2. Shout out to Blue Shirt. Enjoy your break, mate. Thank you. 
I gotta tell you honestly, 3200. Right, let, let, let's just let's just back the track up. Okay, I actually think that watch is beautiful. Okay, like the size of this thing, right? What does it matter what anyone else says? It's you know my dad, he had an Omega Seamaster in the in the in the nineties, and it was bloody thirty mils. That was the fashion, smallish sort of watches, right? That's waterproof, it's an oyster case. I tell you honestly, if I were you, if you get your money back on an Explorer One, I think hey, that's okay. Now, that's not terrible, isn't it? You, you know what I mean? Like you haven't lost anything in the game, have you? Yeah, because they've that... got because along with everything else, they've gone up. Of course they have. They have right. gone up. Right. But no so question of that. When I was says, looking at buying one yeah. for two thousand, two thousand for for it for a late nineties one as well, but yeah. Clive backstabbed me and the deal <laughs> fell through. Okay, but. Yeah, yeah, they're at about they're, they're about, they seem to be at four now, about four. Okay, if I were you, my best advice, to, Louis the Fifteenth, five bucks. Why don't you ever talk about the yacht master? Would be the perfect first step to getting. Actually, I love the yacht master is actually quite a cool watch. That they, they are a great watch. Yeah. The yacht well, the, masters, the I. The only thing I have to thank you for, though, is it, honestly, is that you constantly said to get a Rolex and you won't lose money and so this was the first you know, I've got to be honest spend. with you man and, just and I'm glad I did because you know if I would have bought maybe something else uh, you know Breitling or something that's, maybe I'm, that's I'm taking a bath is it box papers so. what is it box papers nah. or just watch just watch yeah you can get a Naked. box it's pretty, pretty easily Japan yeah <laughs> I'm not going to buy a box I don't I don't think it matters I've got an extra uh, link it came I, with a really, I love having really them big in the bracelet box. I love having them in the box you know yeah I love having yeah. them in the boxes, but look, all I would say to you is, why don't you go to David S W and say, hey, I got this. What would you, uh, what would you give me for it? Boom, boom, boom. Just, just, just sound them out. See what you can do. I agree. If you put that money towards, say, a Explorer One, it's three thousand two hundred dollars. That's a fair bit of coin. You know what I mean? Right. Then Isn't that, it? Then you know? that, that, yeah. And if I get it at retail, because what are they at? Like six retail. A, yeah, around that. <coughs> so it's, it's halfway change, there, so. aren't you? Right. That's that was my thinking. And now, now you do gotta, protect your watches. You don't keep them at home. On the you put them away. Don't you got a safe or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, because people. Rolex is uh, beautiful. You know, I, I think for every man out there who gets one Rolex, seriously. They're, that they are an achievement. Like, like, like for, for, for a man in Absolutely. today's society to get one, whether it's in, I mean, three thirty-two hundred. 3,200, you just say, ah, oh, 3,200. That's 3,200. I don't know about you, Sunshine, but that's a lot of hurt money. You know what I mean? And absolutely. It's a ton. And uh, that's why, it's you know. It's a vacation. I, I, it's a family I love, vacation. It's 3,200. You know? Yeah, I love the, uh, uh, the, you know, when people ask you, I love that. I don't know who, somebody said it, uh, how much does it cost? Uh, you tell them a lot of hard work. I think that's, uh, yeah. I mean, I work 50 hours a week, you know, that's, so. Yes, yes. You got to yes. have a little but, something. But there's nothing but to this, do, you know. The whole the whole place is shut down, so, here in uh, North Carolina. So, you know, there's not much to do. Bud, the stud, $2. Here's a buck for good luck to get out of the muck. <laughs> And Sovron, Sovron, how are you, Sovron? Hey, what's happening, Arch? Just coming back from Bunnings, man. Just got your text. Oh, sinking fast, man. Sinking. Yeah. Oh, what's, what's wrong, big boy? I'll tell you off air. <laughs> oh, all right, okay. But uh, you stay on air here, Sovron. We're just talking to, uh, this is Evan. Evan, yeah. He's, G'day, Evan. he's 49 years old, same vintage as us. And, um... He's no, he's got an ex young bastards. He's, you're wearing scrubs, mate. You're in the medley, medical field, are you? Yes, yeah, yeah. Draw blood all day. Doing uh, Just started doing Scam. COVID uh, testing today. So uh, non-sick people, though. Right. Where's, just, the, where's, yeah, where's, for where's, where's, all, the, where's all the lads? Uh, Sovran, that's... that's <laughs> we've, we've had a boycott. Okay. Uh, what did you do? Boycott, huh? Uh, oh. well, uh, you see what happens when bloody Biden gets in? All the lefties go on strike. I know <laughs> that's exactly it. Cause uh, I got to be honest with you, it, the Trump. He's gonna Trump, he's gonna shut it. Th he's gonna shut everything down. Trump. What's his plan? Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to crush the economy. The economy is fragile right now, and if he shuts everything down, I think that's the end of it. It is very fragile. There. Amazon so will it's... Amazon will be left standing. You know, Amazon and Walmart. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good I... thing. Is that a good thing? I mean, how are you going to own a shop? Could you ma imagine owning a jewelry store right now? Oh, it'd be terrible. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Yes, 100%. you do get. Yes, you do get sausages at Bunnings. Absolutely. The only thing that's terrible is that um, it's like owning a movie cinema. That'd be a terrible. That'd be a terrible business to be in now. No, it's not. What do you reckon, Sovran? No, no, no. it's not. Well. You know, you know what you could do is you could just uh, tear the walls and the ceiling off. Oh yeah. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Then you could say, well, it's outdoors, so nobody's going to get. Yeah. You have a look at how, the how, how, how is how is it with the movie theater? Uh, are you are you all allowed to have anybody in or anything? Uh, all the shares have gone up in the U.S. In what? Queensland, capacity's back up to 100. percent And if you have a look at the U.S., all the share market's gone up with all the U.S. theater chains. The price of the shares of all the reasons since they've released Pfizer's released. The news about the okay. vaccine. Okay, wow. good. The movie, good, good, good. The movie industry isn't broken, it's just bent. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, I miss going to the movies. I, I enjoy that. That's, that's, a, that's a good time to take the family to a theater. It's probably where you got your first squeeze of a titty, right? Possibly. Possibly. So, uh, so, uh, <laughs> Well, God, I hope you took well, your wife on the first date to the movies, and not some other girl. You should, you should yeah, you should, uh, you should get some um, some sequins and put it on that uh, glove. It'd be nice. Mm. Mm. Oh, there's a, some '80s throwback for you. So, Striper, <laughs> do you, neither of you remember Striper, the band Striper? You talk about Christian rock. Uh, Pull up some pictures. To type, type in Michael Sweet Striper. Come on, this will be a good time. Rock. Run band or something from the. But he 90s. asked about a Christian rock band, and you're about to see, uh, you're about to see some Christian rock right Michael here. Michael who? Street. Sweet, sweet, like sweet tea. Sweet striper. Oh yeah. Let's <laughs> <Stripe Rolex. laughs> striper. Let's striper. Look how they dress. Rolex watches. They're not on the channel, lads. Michael Back Sweet Striper. Oh, okay. That's oh, you, is God. it? No. Which one are you? Whichever one you want me to be, I was not in that band. Christian Rock. Archie usually, pay, Archie usually pays someone a hundred dollars to say that to him. Yeah. <laughs> awful, <laughs> awful. They had a song uh, called "To Hell with the Devil." That was their big hit. They were oh god awful, see. just awful. Where is this? Where is this stripe business going? Did they wear a Rolex? I don't fucking. Know. Okay, so, so yeah, back to uh, back to watches. What do you so. What do you wear, um, Evan? Uh, well, I was just showing him this this Air King. That was the first one, and then I've got this uh, this. Uh, see if I can get a. There you go. He's got an Explorer Two. Explorer Two. Explorer Two. Oh, beautiful! Look at that! Isn't that I hope beautiful? Have you got your Mrs. a Rolex? No, nah, she no. doesn't like watches. Oh man, that you're in trouble then. If she doesn't, if she doesn't like them, it means less for you. Do yourself mm, a favor, yeah. mate. Put a twenty-eight mil. Yeah, yeah. OP. Yep. Yeah, I, I look. It's, it's. Nah, yep. just, just he, he wants to keep his money for himself. She doesn't appreciate. They don't appreciate it. Just, just, nah. just buy watches yourself. The, boy, the, you know boy, the boys will, the boys will get these, and uh, yeah. Or everything when, will everything will truly crash, and then you know I've got to cash them in. I mean, the boys are going to get them. You're not you're not leaving the leaving the mortal coil, are you? Uh, at some point. Oh Jesus! This is a depressing show. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I feel good. I'm in pretty good health. You don't look um, eleven. What's yeah, forty nine. So 1971. I've got a Omega, and here's a. Yeah, I'll tell you a funny story about this. So this is a 1971, and I bought it. Uh, it had no bracelet right and um then i found a 1970 beads of rice omega to match it up with yep so uh you know all together about 600 bucks not much you know mm. they're, they're they're cheap but they so they run real well and they, they look pretty sweet what omega See? was it no there we go i mean that, right. that, that it's a geneve you know the 
the, the yes. introductory. So it's there you go. It's a birth year watch. This is the size they came in in seventy one. Yeah, that, that that'd be Unless about thirty three mils, wouldn't it as well? Thirty five. You know, if 35, you got the jump, okay. the jumbo's a little bigger. So, but I I like these. What do you, the, have you um, ever seen this this guy? The Cosmics. The, Cosmics were a larger watch at the time because that's still the dress watch. You had to get up into the sports watches yeah. to be the larger ones. Yeah, I'd ask you about the uh, the F three hundreds, and I had a few of those. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, and the, the, the Hummers, but the tuning forks. Tuning trying to forks. trying to find somebody to properly work on them is. Yeah, well, they are they are picking up in value. Bulliver, of course, invented the tuning fork watch. Yeah, yeah, I've no, got one of those too for my son. No, I bought one. Known as the mosquito watch because that's that's a, the frequency sound it made. You couldn't wear it in bed at night because it sounded like mosquito. Right. The, they yeah they ran at three. Uh, so or. Um, so they got the F three hundred, and they ran at three sixty, right? Yeah. The so it's basically a tuning fork, which had yeah. an ultrasonic sensor on it, which vibrated, and then it just acted on the movement. Probably yeah, the most two, iconic two, one. Probably, two, two, two pins that push the the wheel, right? Probably the most iconic watch was the Omega Speed Sonic, which had yeah. the tuning fork movement in it. Those it are expensive. the Lobster. That's the lob that was for the yeah. German market, wasn't right. that? Right, for, for the German. It had a it had a mirror dialed and had pull it up, big boy, pull it up. It had a yeah, very iconic is... bracelet, which is very those are hard expensive. To now in good condition. The Speed Sonic. Yeah, they'd break. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. they they were a bit flimsy. You know, you know what I mean. They're kind of yeah. a. Um, well, they're, they're forty plastic. years old now, so they're fragile. They have a right? they, listen. F three hundreds have a plastic water pump. Literally, the two pieces that go around. The, the the electrodes are plastic. The, so yeah. the guts of the thing are plastic. Yeah, bring it up with the bracelet attached to the watch. There you go. There you go. You can see it now. Can you see it? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, a better picture, Arch. Speed, speed Sonic. Yeah, that's it. It was in an integrated bracelet. Yeah, it's very... And those links was, weren't solid links. They were kind yeah. of... No, they were hollow links. They were folded, so they G they got a good jingly. Pump, but, yeah. Really jingly jangly, kind of like a wind chime. But lobster bracelet, they're they're quite scarce and rare now. Yeah. Very scarce. They're expensive. They're ugly. They're ugly. Oh, they're as ugly yeah. as the witch's left tit. I, Absolutely. Yeah. No, I wouldn't own one. Yeah, I don't know what witch's yeah. left right tits look like. I, I, I've never seen a witch's, witch's. You uh, haven't lived. Thing. Or you haven't lived, mate. They they wear uh, brass bras. Yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ, that's, uh... Guys, I'm so going to wrap this show up. I want to thank... I want to thank you. I, I tried to Go save on, you. Hey, man, that's great. Thank you so much, man. I love you guys. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Yes. If And uh, hopefully, Sovran, I might, I might actually get you to come on, because... Uh, We've got a bit of a, a situation, so I'd love you to come on. See you oh, tomorrow, no. guys. No one's Tune in. Here. On. Shouldn't I be here? Tune in. Tune right. in to see the disaster that is the Archie Luxury Channel.